We've been awarded an NH and MRC Synergy Grant for the elimination of strongylodiasis in Northern Australia. Strongylodiasis is a, is a parasitic infection caused by the, the parasite Strongyloides coralis and it's one of the most neglected of the neglected tropical disease and it's very much a disease of poverty that infects people when they're young and can remain with them for their entire life causing major health problems including death. Strongyloides stercoralis is a species of roundworm. They're fairly small and the larval forms are a lot smaller than this so you wouldn't necessarily be able to see those with the naked eye. It causes infection by directly penetrating the skin so that's um, often on the feet, walking around bare feet, or migrate through the body. And it can sit um, dormant you know, until perhaps you become immunocompromised or you, you're administered corticosteroids for as little as having, an, uh, having asthma and then the worm wakes up and can take over your entire body, causing, potentially causing death. One of the biggest problems of, for, for this disease is that the, it's very difficult to detect and the diagnostics are not optimal. We do know though that it is a big problem in many um, communities throughout the developing world and certainly in Australia, it's very much a disease of poverty. And essentially it's just poor, this really down to poor hygiene infrastructure. That's where you're most likely to see strongyloides. Currently in Australia, we actually screen all refugees for strongyloidosis, particularly those coming from Asia, and they're treated accordingly with, with the drug called ivermectin. But in Australia, we currently have no official control program or screening for this disease. The big thing with this elimination program that we're, we're looking to pilot is that it's a one health approach. It's a multi-component, multi-sector approach where we'll use improved diagnostics treatment, provision of sanitation, because this, is, this because it requires sanitation, health education. The disease is also suspected to be zoonotic, so we'll look at animal reservoirs, and we'll do this in a holistic fashion, which will, which will look to break the transmission pathway of the disease. For me, what this is, is bringing a lot of the technology and the work that I've done in Asia back to Australia where we have this disease, this neglected tropical disease, disease of poverty, that we shouldn't. This is huge. We can do a lot of things with this $5 million.